After a multi-month uptrend, we have come to the wall of redness. Is the uptrend over? Or there is so much more to come? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about Elrond. We are clashing it versus dollar. We are answering the most important question if you are an investor or holder. Is there something to worry about? So, just follow me to the charts. <laughs> As we said, Elrond versus Dollar, daily chart, one of our favorites. So right off the bat, let's continue and conclude that this is nothing more than an uptrend, right? And this is lasting many, many months, even off the screen, which I will show you later. Something interesting. But you came here for this, right? After this very strong move to the upside, we are having a pretty strong correction. Is there something to be worried about? And is this uptrend now in danger, in jeopardy, or will it continue higher? Well, this is my take. To speak in terms of one line, I would like to point out just one thing, and that is this. As long as we are above this crucial line of support on Elrond, everything is good and there is absolutely nothing to be feared about, okay? I mean, you can count two hands how many times this area was a crucial support look at this so one two three four five six seven eight, blah 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 really really strong support and sure we can leave that support to the upside and get one parallel channel in which egld is traveling for a few months so as you can see nothing is broken we just rarely have those points of resistances on the upper side of this parallel channel and we just had one a few days ago therefore we are doing just the same thing that we did here retracing so there is a high probability that you will retrace all the way to this famous support line okay today we are standing at 387 dollars and if we fall for example let's say to whereabouts of 350 in the next few days you should be having no worries and be nothing to be feared about, okay? It's just the price fluctuation inside of this channel. Now, even if we break this channel to the downside, then we will talk in details. Maybe we are developing, then it's a bearish scenario, and for that, I mean, before that happens, no bearish narrative around it, okay? Now, there is an option in which we could be spending some more time inside of this channel consolidating and then move to the higher levels but those are just options not scenarios i'm just copying the fractal of something that was happening right here who knows maybe we will see the same thing here and maybe if the altcoin season ignites with full power this will be a scenario you never know just keep a close eye on the charts part two of why you shouldn't be worried for now 21 exponential moving average accompanied by 34 well-established dynamic support i just showed you that line that was fixed support tilting to the upside and now i'm showing you this dynamic support of 21 and 34 proved its value on many occasions and i'm just pointing you some of them i mean i think we get the drift for many weeks months this line this zone between the 21 and 34 exponential moving average was a clear support and as you can see what's happening right now very important stuff today we are touching 21 exponential moving average i love it this is a good sign as i said we could be spending some more time in this region maybe after this touch we do this but also maybe after this touch since elrond is in a fierce uptrend we continue on a new trajectory to the upside you had a few days of redness but bull trend is not intact in the short term in the long term in whichever term you want but always keep that little grain of doubt in yourself if you want to be a successful trader or investor for example i will now show you what i told you at the beginning let's just put on the screen everything from that beginning now this bull trend started all the way in june here we made a first higher low okay now this part 
of our move to the upside was a pretty strong one. And this trend line that wasn't broken for weeks, months is proving you that. This was the first impulsive move that was not, let's say, compromised by any means. Now, if I pull this line to the future, well, something like this, you can see what is happening. Something different is happening. We are still in that bull trend. I mean, from whatever perspective you want to look at it, it is a bull trend, but we are no longer above this trend line of support. We are below it and making it a resistance. I think this is clear to you. Look at this. We bounced here into it, retraced. We bounced a few days ago into it, retraced. This could be an early sign of a trend exhaustion. Therefore, I said, just keep a grain of doubtness in your mind and you can do it yourself. Draw this line from the beginning of the trend till the end, right through the middle, and maybe you will find out where the next point of resistance will be for around in the future. So as I said, nothing regarding the bull trend to the upside is broken. We, by the probability, will go up again, maybe sooner than you think, but this line is surely something that you should be watching. And if you want to know what price levels I'm thinking about for the next few weeks, months, check out our previous video on Elrond. It was a few months ago, but it could provide you a great value regarding the TA, regarding the price targets and price levels. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in that one.